a standing, the standing basic break, I, I, the foot that I'm coming up with, I want to keep him from underhooking. I'm going to start off with my basic grip on the, on the lapel. Okay, I can grab one or two, and I'm going to pick up the sleeve. Okay, what I try to do is when I pick up the sleeve, I try to bring it across and lock it here. Okay, this isn't necessary, it's just a bonus. If I can just keep a hold of this sleeve and keep my elbows in, I'll be okay. I'm going to lean on the 45 and step up on the opposite 45 over here because I want to step up on the side that I'm controlling his leg or his arm first so he can't underhook my leg. So I lean here and step up. I've got a good base, I don't hang out here. Okay, if I hang out here, he's going to look to sweep me. But I'm not going to hang out here, I'm going to stay up. Right away, I'm going to lean over here and come up high on this side. See where I'm at? So now if I've got the arm, right away, as soon as I come to my stand, I'm going to stand up, let go of the lapels, and keep a hold of the sleeve like this. Boom. Okay, this is putting a lot of pressure on him. I got him stacked. If I don't already have the guard broke, I can put pressure on the inside of the leg here, change my angle, and that's going to break the guard. Notice, elbows in, knees in. I'm getting to a good offensive posture here, putting a lot of pressure on him. He didn't get a chance to underhook my uh, leg into the handstand sweep, and I've been keeping pressure on him the whole time. stepping up high. I want to try to step even with his head or his shoulders. Now, don't hang out here. Don't hang out bent over. I'm going to stand holding on to the sleeve like this. I let go of that lapel. I'm not worried about it. See, there's a lot of pressure on him now. If his legs are, his guard's still broke, I can come inside here, and I'm going to change my shape as I step back. Elbows and knees inside most of the time. I'm in my good position, my good offensive standing posture. Okay. Once more. Okay, when I'm passing, what are my three basic phases of passing? Posture. Break the guard, then pass the guard. Okay, if the guard's not broke, I can't pass it. Posture is grips, posture, or grips, uh, balance, and base. Okay, so how I'm balanced where my base is, I'm going to stand so my base is going to be higher, but I'm going to have a good balance, okay? So first thing, what we're going to do get my grips, sleeve and lapel, if I can lock this, I lock it down on the wrist. Now that makes it hard for him to get his hand down. Now what? 45, lean 45, step 45. Where? Uh, close to his head. High, as high as I can step up. Now I'm uh, Stand up. Lean back over the other side. Bring that leg up under 45. Right away, standing. Pressure on the inside of the knee. Step back to change my, my, my balance. Right? And now I can start to, to pass. Okay? Let's do it. Pass or Toriano or Toriando. So I'll get my grips. Okay. Hit my standing break. Boom. Right? I've got this knee control. I'm gonna transition to the other knee. Here. Okay? Elbows in. Now, I can do a couple different things. There's, there's a whole game here, but all we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna step back, putting his feet down, okay, and then I'm gonna step out into the knee on belly. So I step back, pushing his knees down, he steps on his feet, okay? So now I step out and go to knee and belly. And I can go either way, and I can even fake him. I can push his knees this way, and when he fights to bring him back, I step and pass. I'm gonna keep a hold of this far knee for as long as I can, because what's he gonna try to do with this? Shrimp, right? If I'm pulling it up, shrimp, makes it a lot harder for him to shrimp. Okay, knee, and what I 
like is a good motorcycle grip. Okay, I step back, pushing his feet down. He steps, put his feet down to the ground. Okay, I don't want to hang out here. I can push the knees this way if I want to set him up. When he fights, he brings his knees back. I step out and in. Sometimes when I put this much pressure on him, when I step back and put the legs down, he's not ready for that, and the legs go down. So where do I want to go from here? I want to go shoulder and belt. side so you can see it from the other side here. So I go, I push back, the legs go all the way to the ground or close to it. Okay, I'm just going to change my, I'm in my push-up position. I'm going to change my angle, shoulder in the belly. Look, my head's on this, like listening to his, his hip bone. If he tries to pull his legs up, it's very difficult because I've got this pressure here. Keep this inside hip or keep this inside leg controlled until you're up controlling the hips. So that can come up and control. Okie So this is the Toriana, but with, the, okay, he may try to go into a leg lasso type situation or something like that. Okay, when he does this, I'm gonna raise my elbow and pass. Keep a hold of that far side, and I can set up, if he's trying to roll away, I can set up my lapel grip, you know, keep this out, take the back, all that kind of stuff, okay? Anytime I've got this motorcycle grip and that leg comes over my arm, my elbows are down low. As soon as, even on just one side, if he just brings one leg up on one side, elbow up, redirects, pass, keep this, right? If he's trying to roll away, it makes it difficult. If he's trying to shrink in towards me, again, it makes it very difficult. Okay? So this is just the elbow flare situation. So I stick the knees to the ground, boom, I hit my Toriana. If his legs go all the way to the ground, shoulder and belly. If he brings a leg up, I'm elbows up. Here we go. Let's give it a try. And I want to break his guard as I'm standing. Okay, it's called, I call it the Sarah break because I learned it from Matt Sarah. He used to do this all the time. If you watch old the uh, grappler's quest and everything that he ever did, this was his standing break. So um, it starts with my standard uh, round, you know, my standard uh, path break from the knees here, except now with my hand and the hip, this is very important that my arm stays stiff. Okay, my elbow's inside, my hand stays
face stiff. I'm going to step up on this side, which is opposite of what we were doing when we were grabbing the sleeve, and I'm going to windshield wiper my other leg. So I step up with my right, and windshield wiper my leg, my, my, uh, my other leg here. Okay? I, uh, notice I've got a good base here, so if he tries to pull me forward, I've got a good base, but this arm has all my weight down on the hip. Okay? Now, I'm going to put this knee down, and I'm going to rotate this knee up at the same time, like this. And as you can see, that puts a lot of pressure on his hips here, puts a lot of pressure on his legs, and now I'm in a good position because I'm nice and deep. Okay? And I'm going to show you guys two passes that work really well off of this position. Good, maybe three. So, standard grips. He thinks, okay, I gotta be ready for the standard uh, ground break. Okay, but I'm gonna step up with my right and windshield wiper with my left. Here. Okay, so I'm coming straight forward, but even if he pulls me forward with his legs, good base. Okay, arm straight down into that hip bone, palm on that, palm heel on that. Okay. Turn this knee down, bring the other knee up. Boom, puts lots of pressure on the hips and the legs. Okay, now I'm in a good position to pass. Okay. Look where I'm 
I'm standing, okay? I bring this across to my thigh. Okay, where are you going to go from there, Paul? See where I'm at? I'm basically in the standing variation of my leg turn, my back leg turn. That's where I try to get to. Okay. So I break, boom. If he doesn't have my sleeves, he's grabbing my feet. Or if I can break the grip, I go two on one. Bring the leg across. See where I'm putting it? I'm not putting it out here, because then he can swing back through with his leg underneath. Okay? When I bring it across, when I rip it across, I put it here and I stay in tight. See where my knee is? Yeah, it's frustrating, right? And I'm gonna aim for here. And I can keep, I can get my near side cradle, turf, leg turf, whatever I wanna do. Okay, but I gotta stay tight. As soon as I rip this, I gotta stay tight, okay? Boom, knee down, right? I break, two on one, boom! I put it to my leg, okay? Now he's gonna have troubles. See, I keep that knee in. Now, all my weight's on his hips. Whatever he tries to do. Okay. Pin. <laughs> okay? Yes, sir. So let's do the two on one. Okay, so we've been working our kneeling posture, our standing posture. Once the guard's open, a good, our basic offensive standing posture, okay, is here. Okay. Basic offensive standing posture. Here, my one leg is forward, my elbows to the knee. I can control the gi, I can control the hip, or I can control the other knee, still protecting this lead leg. My other hand is then free to control this pant leg, or at the knee, or at the ankle. Okay, so then I have my good cross control across the hips, here, here, or here. Okay, and then the elbows down. I don't want to give him space to put his foot up in the hip, and start controlling, so I keep my elbow down, establish my grips, and put the pressure here. So I can move forward and put the pressure there by controlling his hips. Okay? So for my basic offensive posture, depending on where he goes, I can launch into my cross knee pass, my knee through pass, okay? I can go into my X pass, I can do my step over pass, this is a good, good posture to initiate all this from. If I start off with a knee through, if this leg is down, I can do a knee through with my rear leg. When I do the knee through with my rear leg, a lot of times I don't have space for things. My leg's already here. I'm looking to hit this underhook. Come, come over here. But I, what I can also do if I'm not ready to hit the entire pass is funnel in here and hit my double windshield. Right? I'm down low here. I'm not up on his hip with my knee where I want to be. He's blocking probably. So I bring my other leg over in order to double windshield wipe the leg, lock his leg. Okay? It makes it more difficult for him to get his leg out. At the same time, I'm trying to put, if I can't get my, if I can't get, uh, if I have the underhook at least, I'm still in a good control. I can control the hips here. He's trying to escape, go. See, I've got this extra lock on his foot here that makes it difficult for him to escape. Okay, from this double windshield wipe position or posture, okay, I can then set up, work my knee in closer, and hit my, my knee through pass, okay? Or if his leg comes up high, I can sneak, and I can't get this knee in, I can switch off to a cross knee pass off the knee through. So I initiate with the knee through, Boom, I'm in my, my, my windshield wiper. If he's getting my knee down too far, as soon as I feel his knee get below my shin, I need to bring this leg up and over. Okay, at this point, if I have the underhook on the leg, I spin it on the knee, come to cover. Okay. So once more from my standing posture. Also, if I'm trying to push the knee down, okay, keep the knees up. If I'm trying to push his knee down and I'm standing here, it's not working because he's strong. All I have to do is change my angle and the knee goes down. Now I go cross knee pass, or knee through pass. All right, but my knee's not into his hip, he starts defending. Okay, I go to windshield, double windshield wiper here. Okay, it's kind of like a little X card from the top. I go to double windshield wiper pass. If I'm way down, I can actually go 
have a windshield wiper pass inside. But the drawback to this is that it makes it harder to get this knee through. Okay? So generally I'm going to build a windshield wiper pass here. But if I have shorter legs than my opponent, I can certainly bring that to bear inside, which would be more like an X guard from the top. Okay, from here, if he's not letting me get my knee in to control his hip, then I'm going to bring my other knee across, cross knee pass. And now I pivot it on the knee, and I've got a far side cradle, cradle setup. Good to go? Any questions? Does that make sense? All right, stop. From our setup here, okay, if he's not letting me get, get around, he's defending very hard on this side. You can move around here, you can move around here to see. Okay, if he's really up on his side defending, that makes this leg easier to get up on my shoulder. I want this leg up on my shoulder, I'm putting pressure like I'm trying to pass here. Okay, when I've got this leg up on my shoulder, I'm ready, I'm going to just reach across, and I'm going to basically just turn my hips back this way. Pick up the leg, come under the head for the near side cradle, and what? <laughs> Pin. All right. So I go to my windshield wiper posture here. The leg's up on my shoulder. He feels like I'm trying to pass this way. He's blocking. He's not letting me. So I'm going to just switch my hips. I'm going to touch my hips to his hips over here, and I'm going to pivot on my knee and foot here. See my knee and foot, pivot, and I go hip to hip, head up, hips down, okay? Look for the control. If he's trying to turn away, okay? Just lace an arm or grab the far elbow. This is a big control right here. If I could grab the far elbow and he tries to roll away, very, very difficult for him to do. I control the leg and the far elbow. I'm in a good position here. Come up, control the head, near side cradle. Get this from behind once here. Okay. Offensive posture. I change my angle, knee through pass. Okay, he starts defending right away. With this knee up, I come and I get the leg up on my shoulder. Now I'm putting all sorts of pressure here like I'm trying to pass. I can come back to my windshield wiper, 